What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. First and foremost, I wanna thank you all for liking, subscribing, and commenting. That last episode got 5,000 views in 10 days, <laughs> which is really excited. I, I'm glad that you guys are as excited as this project as I am. Um, I have been reading your guys' comments. A few of you called me dry, <laughs> which I think, which I think is the funniest thing in the world because <laughs> I'm actually really funny in person. At least I think I'm funny in person. Uh, so I'm gonna try to let that side of me maybe spill a little bit more into these videos. So anyway, <clears throat> on this episode, I am finally switching gears from this battery bank. I know it's gotten a little dry, but we're gonna be working on the front motor mounts a little bit. I'm waiting for some stuff to come in on the battery box, some bus bars, uh, the battery management system, wiring harness from Vero, and the stainless steel tubing. So I'm gonna start working on that front drivetrain and try to get that motor mounted. So let's get into it. So I had these brackets made from send, cut, send. <clears throat> and essentially I'm trying to find the center of mass on this box and it's about 18 and a half inches in. So I've already welded the one side. I'm gonna weld this one in place and that'll let me sling this battery wherever I need to. But after this, it's pretty much ready to powder coat so as soon as I get this bracket done, I'm gonna take it over to the oven and get it powder coated. And we can start doing kind of a final assembly on the battery, so. So that worked out pretty good. Looks like it's it's swinging there pretty level. So this is pre-powder coat. I'm gonna go and take it into the powder coating area. I think I'm gonna go with the wrinkled black. And when I get it back out here, we'll start putting the panels on and hopefully start assembling this thing. I just pulled it out of the oven. It was in there 400 degrees for 10 minutes. I did the, the cover as well. I didn't show you guys that, but I did this out of a, a jet black piano black. So it's a glossy black, but this I used the black texture. It was really, really good. I didn't want it to be like super shiny, you know? So we just, I just went ahead and used the, uh, the black texture from Prismatic Powders, but God, it looks really, really good. It looks OEM. It looks factory. <laughs> so I'm going to do the covers in this gloss black so you can kind of differentiate between the two, give it a little bit of 
uh, contrast, so. But yeah, looks really, really good. I'm gonna let it cool down and then get it up on the bench and start putting it together. It's cooled down. You can see how nice that finish came out. Really cool looking texture. But anyway, I just finished gluing in these mica sheets. I used a contact adhesive and just finished rolling it. So I am gonna start putting the batteries in and bolting them down. Stay tuned. Okay, slowly moving forward. Just finished installing the spacer piece. I showed you guys that earlier. Printed these out of ASACF with like a 60% infill. <laughs> They're uh, pretty heavy parts, very robust, but you can see I uh, heat started those and they're holding really well. This is very sturdy. So I'm also adding a, a small dab of, of sealant around every one of these holes for my little spacers here. You can see here, so that way I don't get any un unnecessary moisture water getting into the box. So I'm gonna keep going on it. I think I'll get that bottom section built out and then I'll make a front cover for these guys and just keep going. Okay, you can see my initial mock-up of the front drive unit. This one is called an SDU, it's a small drive unit. But you spent some time getting it nice and straight in this area of the factory Lambo subframe. But you can see what I did here. I'm utilizing the factory Tesla motor mount. This is what it looks like before I cut it all up. But you can see it's, it's really robust. But what I did is I actually cut the front section off of there. You can see the, the section that I cut off. Um, obviously to try to get this to fit inside here. But I think what I'll do is I'll try to reshape this and maybe, you know, weld on some tabs here so that there's there's two mounts here. This is this is going to be really This is going to be really simple. You know, it's just going to be a a tab going down to this 2 by 3 beam. But the back portion I'll have to get a little more creative with, but Essentially, on this on this drive unit, this is the motor and this is the inverter, and this is where all the torque is. So this one, you know, this mount has to be very robust. There is a front mount, this one here, the factory Tesla mount. You can see where that mounts on those three tabs there. This goes something like that. But I'm likely going to have to abandon that one, as you can see. There's just no space here. The factory Lambo subframe narrows in pretty dramatically there. So I think what I'll do is, since I'm relocating the inverter, I, I won't need this section anymore. So I think what I'll do is I'll cut that and weld on a flat plate there and, and that'll be easier for me to build some sort of mount sensor, maybe back to here and again, back to there. So I'll show you guys what the motor looks like with the inverter on it. This is the donor motor from the Tesla that I bought, you could see one of the seals is, is bad. Obviously, all this gunk on there, but I'll replace that seal. But you can see how much wider it is with the inverter on. But they make relocation kits, so I think I'll just make my own. Shouldn't be too bad. There's a little stubby half shaft. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna wrap up this episode. A little bit of a shorter episode, but I'm waiting for some parts to come in, so there's not a ton to do right now. I'm uh, going to focus on getting these parts in, going to focus on working on that front motor mount. I ordered some tabs for that, a bunch of stuff for the battery box. I think I will start body working the rear firewall on the Lambo itself so it doesn't look as ugly. You can see all this stuff here. It really just needs to be sanded down and primered so it looks really pretty like the hood. I also wanted to show you guys, I 3D printed this EVSV mount out of... ASACF, like a 60% infill, but come out really good. I've got the EVSV on there, <laughs> but essentially that's what's keeping that blade together. And you can see I, I use these little certs in here for that to bolt into. So, but anyway, I think that's it, guys. I am gonna wait for all these parts to come in and continue to work on this front mount. I am going to bodywork that back section, so I'll set up a video stand so you guys can check that out with me. But otherwise, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and I'll see you guys later.